Irene and welcome to my kitchen and today we're gonna have salad for dinner so I thought I'd bring you along and show you what we're gonna have this is the salad I will be eating because I thought it might be fun to share with you one of my favorite salads and this is a spinach and chicken Waldorf style salad And this has a couple of ingredients that might be unusual for walnuts, a walnut salad, a Waldorf salad. It does have walnuts in it, but I'm starting out with a nice base of uh, mostly spinach and some mixed greens. I have some um, artisan lettuce in here as well as romaine and baby spinach. And then I'm going to start off with some poached chicken. I poached off some chicken and some water and some uh, aromatics, and we like to... We're just going to put that right in the middle. And then I have some uh, really beautiful Canadian bacon. Instead of using uh, fried bacon, like regular bacon, this is a nice alternative and you don't have to go to the trouble of cooking it because it's already cooked. Then I like to add some apple because you can't have Waldorf salad without apples. And then I'm just going to kind of pile these things up around on top of the greens and I like to put some crispy cucumber as well and some walnuts what I was gonna say I would eat it up until that point and I like to have some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes and then we kind of put some walnuts and then of course when you eat it you're going to mix it all up and then the last thing which Rick won't touch with a 10-foot pole <laughs> Is some blue yeah. cheese crumble. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's just blue cheese. Let me just crumble this beautiful stuff up here. And of course, if you don't like blue cheese, you can use whatever cheese you prefer. Put some shredded cheddar or some Monterey Jack or some chunked up Swiss or really, if you don't like cheese, then don't put cheese. It's going to be great no matter what you do. But for presentation purposes, it's really nice to kind of bunch everything together. And if you're going to do a plating for a dinner party, and this is beautiful. So, the only thing left is to drizzle on some of this dressing that we made earlier. This beautiful poppy seed dressing which you can see it is still emulsified and it will stay that way because we use the immersion blender the other thing too if you want to switch this up you don't have to use walnuts use pecans or um slivered almonds would be great in here i like to use nuts in my salad because it gives it nice crunch and an extra depth of flavor you can use whatever you want you can candy the nuts as well that's always lovely when when you do that so that is my version of a spinach and chicken Waldorf salad, perfect for a quick weeknight meal or anytime. It's also super healthy and it's a really great thing to adopt. We have a salad for dinner at least once a week and in the summer we usually have it more than that. So this is our salad for tonight. This is what I'll be having. And the girls and Rick will build their own salads with several of the ingredients that we already have here. So I hope you try this chicken spinach Waldorf salad with my poppy seed dressing. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something and I hope you're gonna give it a try and I hope that you love it. I know that you will. I also wanted to say if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen. And also you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and also on my blog over at blogger.com. There will be links to all of those things in the information bar below. So I hope that you all have a great day and make sure that you come back tomorrow. I'll see ya.